Up next, it is a welterweight matchup between Steven Thompson and Anthony Showtime Pettis. So here he is, the former UFC and WEC lightweight champion, Anthony Showtime Pettis. And we got to harken back to December of 2010, Joe. WEC 53, that unforgettable off-the-cage kick executed flawlessly by Showtime against Benson Henderson. That was really the beginning of the superstardom for Showtime Pettis. Went on to win the UFC lightweight championship and now trying to get back to UFC glory. Showtime Pettis in another big spot here tonight. Anthony Pettis is one of the most flashy but yet effective fighters in the sport today. His Taekwondo techniques combined with Muay Thai and his outstanding ground game make him one of the elite fighters in the lightweight division. So here's the two-time UFC welterweight title challenger, Steven Wonderboy Thompson. When you hear people talk about modern-day mixed martial arts and striking now becoming a great equalizer just like wrestling, a big reason why Steven Wonderboy Thompson as dangerous and devastating a striker as we have on this UFC roster. This guy has incredible stamina and ridiculous cardio. If his opponent can't slow him down, he is not going to be able to keep up with him. tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Thompson is three years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamazaki. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter holding a professional record of 21 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Cooper. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting for the Simpsonville, South Carolina. Steve Lang, Wonder Boy, top five. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good I luck. am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go down go. right ready? now. Ready? And we are underway. Pettis, of course, famous for that title-winning crazy shit. Oh. How about that chin? He's trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, 
Oh, a huge block there. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that Bear's watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Wonder Boy Thompson. Just over three minutes to go round one. Wow. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Oh! Good front kick here. He caught the kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Good right hook. And he's going with the knee of the body here, Joe. And he lands a nice kick. Looking to avoid oh. that left hand. He's got him right here. Oh, he might be out. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. Oh, well-timed overhand there by Pettis. He's going after the head. Push kick there to the body. Good punch. Clinch now. Thompson's worked in that arm well. Double underhooks now. Good body shot. Back to over under. Round one winding down here. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Pettis. Second round, straight ahead. So the horn sounds after that round. Might have even been a 10 8. Big round there from Wonder Boy Thompson. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Let's see that from another angle. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Brittany Palmer is here, as always. the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's gonna want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Really missed with that right hand. Oh, what a chance. Good exchanges from both fighters. And there he swung with the haymaker. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You've got to get that head off the center line. Caught him with a punch. Hand speed, man. Oh! Front kick to the face! He's got him hurt here. Absolutely, Joe. Debilitating shots to the body. Man. You can tell that body shot hurt him bad. And he caught the oh, kick. He gets he can do it. He oh. got he's, hurt. he's hurt. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Starting to connect on a lot of shots.
gets to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Back to the jab now, no good. And he lands that side kick. Slips to avoid the right. Pettis gets hit with a kick. That looked like it hurt you. One minute. Pettis continues to attack the body. He clipped him. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that sidekick. Nice hook there by Thompson. Looking to land the right just out of range. It appears that cut is getting worse. Oh, that lead left hand has been money. And the horn sounds on round two. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. Very impressive striking going on in that round. The OG Ariane Celeste in the building with us tonight. as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh! And he's got him here. He's in big, big trouble. Boom! Shin to the dome. Nice jab. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight. But oh! He's Landed a big kick for the knockout. Indeed, Joe, that was a tremendous kick to end the fight tonight. Caught the opponent flush with full force and extension. And frankly, there was no chance after that. The fight was over as soon as that one made contact. Certainly one for the highlight reel here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Boom! Out cold. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Bonus stop in this contest at one minute, 13 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by no so congratulations on another huge win for the future Hall of Famer, Anthony Showtime Pettis. Clearly moving back up to 155 pounds was the right decision. Tonight's result certainly speaks to that as Showtime Pettis does it yet again and remains one of the most 